Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having the most incredible day. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for the latest in reality TV, influencer tea, pop culture, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would be so incredibly grateful. All right, you guys, so listen. It pays off to be the real Andy Beverly Hills' husband, bitch, because he gets so many exclusives. So you know what? He gives it to me because I'm his husband, bitch. So I am so grateful. Thank you so much, hubby, for this exclusive because this exclusive is so juicy, bitch. So listen, right? Grab a snack, grab a drink. Go make sure to check out the real Andy if you haven't already, which, girl, I know you have, okay? So listen, so he gave me this exclusive and I was like, oh my God, this tastes so good, okay? So it says here, right? So this is what the exclusive that he got says. It says, Diana Jenkins and Asher allegedly has been certified a persona non grata in the music industry because labels are worried that the alleged connections to Epstein would make them a liability. Asher receives royalties every time he performs an original song on the show and production was asked if they could help position him as a star. They did not, they did, but none of the labels worth signing him won him. One label had shown interest until the bot farm attack on Jax last week. Some of his friends are even afraid to appear with him on camera because they're afraid of what could happen if Diana's trafficking uh, allegations become headline news. The tea is hot. Want to know what it? Want to know what is happening? Okay, and then he says, "Go to my YouTube channel." Okay, so listen, right? Um, first of all, I have said this before, Boo. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills is not an American Idol audition or an X Factor audition or America's Next, uh, an America's Got Talent audition. Okay, it's not even an America's Next Top Model audition. Uh, audition. Okay. And I have definitely seen Diana work the cameras and work the events and put that man to sing, bitch. She is doing everything in she can to do this. There was even rumors um, a couple weeks back that the only reason that Diana got on the show was to promote Asher. Now, listen, he might have a good voice and all, but boo, this is not American Idol, Diana. Wrong show, boo. You went to the wrong casting that day, okay? Anyways... This whole thing, once you are stained, I would say, from uh, an allegation or a rumor, now we don't know, you know, if it's going to be really headlines one day, then all oh, the, the, the shit will hit the fan. But she has been associated and has been named very much on the, you know, with Epstein. And girl, that's not a good look for anybody, okay? That's just like, that's, that's maybe the worst thing you wanna be associated with, okay? And Asher is so desperate trying to find how to fit in. He wants to be a star. You know, he, he's singing his little heart out every episode he can. She is putting him to work. She's putting him to sing. And it goes to show that it does not matter how much money you actually have or power or celebrity. You will never, ever get famous or get um, to the next level if you are not liked. And first of all, the one who is hurting him, Asher, the most is Diana, because not only are, are the Epstein allegations, but then we have how she is acting a whole fool on the Beverly Hills Housewives. She is a person that's incredibly not likable. I've said this many times, girl. I was so excited in the beginning when she came because I was like, yes, bitch, like money, class, um, you know, she's, she's, you know, she's not from here. So she'll give you, you know, some spice. She, she has a, a story. She, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, she has something that, you know, is going to, it's going to captivate us. You know what I mean? Stories from her country. She's going to spice up the Beverly Hills housewives. Right. And then this whole black creator thing, this whole allegations with, you know, past workers, the Epstein allegation, and not only that, but the way that she handles herself on this show is honestly not cute. I really think that um, Diana Jenkins, her worst 
her worst decision was to come on this show. And if she thought that coming on this show to help her husband would be a thing, she had to remember that it was not her husband that people were watching. Like, for example, if 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 Andy, right, my husband, wanted to, let's say, get on... I was trying to get him on, uh, like, Watch What Happens Live, right? And and I was on the Beverly Hills Housewives. Or I was, you know, he wanted his own show, like Andy Cohen, whatever the case. And I was on Housewives. and But my mission that nobody knows is that I want to just, you know, I'm good. I have money, bitch. I have power. I have all these things. But I want I want to help him. Do you think that the right uh, ingredient to make this perfect dish is to act a mess and be unliked and be hated? Because... Honey, he's going to be hated by association. You know what I mean? So what she did is drag whatever whatever crumbs he had of a career and make that disappear. Nobody's going to want to be associated with him. No labels will ever sign him. And, you know, the only thing he probably can do is do YouTube, you know, and, and, and put his music on YouTube and hope that it goes viral one day, right? Because I don't see any networks, you know, uh, allowing him to even audition for America's Next, uh, America's Got Talent or uh, American Idol because now Hollywood knows, labels know, production companies know, you know, networks know. They know that they want nothing to do with Diana Jenkins. And I mark my words, you guys, Diana will not be here next season. So this season, not only did she bury her career, her plans, or whatever she wanted to accomplish, but she buried what was left of a possibility of him having a career. You know what I mean? And Diana could have done so much and she could have been so liked because she knows how, you know, she she knows how to throw shade, right? But her shade is cruel. And us Housewives fans, we love the drama. We love the shade. We love the reads. We love all of these things, but we don't like mean. You know what I mean? We don't like mean people. And she is mean. I mean, you can be like, you can be a freaking bitch and, you know, and, 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 and you will be loved. You know what I mean? Because we love when people, you know, confront other people and we love when other people sit there and show receipts. We love all of that. Because if, bitch, if we were looking for like a show, you know, where everyone hugs and everybody's happy and stuff, I mean, change the channel. This is not Housewives. Housewives is money, shade, confrontation, drama. And, and 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 stories of these women's lives, right? And Diana has just shown cruelty. She has shown mean, coldness. Um, even you know, even her miscarriage. When she talked about it, I felt so bad for her, and I felt so sad for her because you know I have seen that in real life, the pain that you know women go through when they lose you know a baby, and. Even that, she turned it into this whole thing with sudden. I mean, she could have really inspired. She could have really um, dedicated that, her, share her story to inspire, to bring peace to those mothers who have had miscarriages. You know, she could have really used her voice to make a difference uh, to those women who are going through that, to families who are going through that. But she didn't. I guess her own ego was not allowing her to show any kind of humility. And that is the issue. So Asher Boo, I would say, you know, go on TikTok, go on YouTube, because that's probably the only way that you can get your music out there, boo. And you know what? Turn around to Diane and say, thank you, babe, for fucking what was left of this non-existing music career. Okay. Anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, thank you to my hubby, the real Andy Beverly Hills. Go check him out for the exclusive. And just thank you guys so much. I love you. I'm grateful. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.